So Jennifer, it's time for uh, you to speak, but let me just say by way of final introduction that we are honored to declare this Jennifer Garner Day in Hollywood. I've never heard my name said more, and um, you know, that's awful. Um, <laughs> thank you guys. I mean, truly, when you are an actress in Hollywood, it's really all about whose wife you get to play. And Judy, this was really just an opportunity for you to meet two of the best. Go ahead, sniff Brian right now. Sniff him. He's great. He smells wonderful. <laughs> Give Steve a sniff too while you're there. Just go for it. <laughs> yeah, you couldn't do better. And Judy, when it's your turn and we're all celebrating you, I know that Brian and Steve will give you both <laughs> heartfelt, loving speeches and uh, anecdotes as well. Uh, nobody, <laughs> nobody could do better. Thank you, thanks you, all of you guys for your friendship and just for being here and watching me go through this. <laughs> when I called my mother to, and told her about this upcoming honor, the first thing she said was, well, I never thought I'd have a daughter on the, with a star on the Walk of Fame. Well, honestly, Pat Garner, I would have been a little worried if you had thought that. It's not a thing that you expect. I'm sure if you asked uh, the moms of the stars around me, you know, Peter Lawford's mom, the Harlem Glo Globetrotters mom, Snow White's mom, none of them expected it either. It's, it does come kind of as a surprise. For this unexpected honor, I have to thank the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce. The Walk of Fame and these stars are their doing, so thank you. <clears throat> For those beautiful introductory remarks, which I know my father deeply appreciated and my mother might have believed, thank you to Steve and to Judy and to Brian. Thank you so much. After so many years working in this community, I couldn't ask for better friends than the three of you. And for supporting me in our movie Peppermint and for being here, thank you to STX and to Lakeshore and the actual people who work there. <laughs> All of you here, let's, I mean all of you, boo -boo -boo, you guys, you guys too, but yeah, are the most special people in the world to me. I hope you know that. The people who work with me and the people for whom I work and my friends and my family, Violet, Sarah, and Sam. Hi, buddy. <laughs> and my parents and my sisters, my nieces and nephews. A special shout out to my niece and nephew who are missing their first days of school to be here today. Because in the Garner family, fame matters more than education. <laughs> oh, obviously, obviously that's not true. They're equal. <laughs> People have asked me, not a lot of people, but a few, what getting this star means to me. Well, first of all, it means I've moved into a lovely, nice neighborhood nestled between El Capitan and Hooters, which offers some employment possibilities. And I've, I have some very fancy new neighbors, Max Factor, nice to meet you, Zoe Saldana, I'm a big fan, Tom Cruise, I also do my own stunts, my star wants your star to know. <laughs> Many of these people I have admired my whole life. Carol Lombard, the wonderful, magical, late, great Aretha Franklin, just to name two. My association with these people, geographic but also metaphorical, seems a bigger honor than I deserve. I've walked over so many of these stars in the past, probably both of yours, <laughs> and it makes me wonder what people will think when they walk someday over mine. Strangers will think maybe of the magic of movies, and that's fine, it is magical. But for my family, my parents most of all, when you walk over my star, please don't spit your gum out. <laughs> I want you to remember, I was just kidding, Mom, I'm sorry, I know you would never do that, <laughs> that it was your non-judgmental, infinitely loving acceptance of me and whatever I hope for myself that made this possible. Thank you for caring more about who my sisters and I are than what we do. For my children, <laughs> yes, <laughs> when you walk over this star, I want you to remember, first of all, that I love you. 
and that this is about hard work and good luck and not a whole lot else. You define me, not this wonderful spot in the pavement. Also, for the record, don't spend too much time on Hollywood Boulevard. <laughs> for the people who work with me, there are a lot of you here, I want you to know this is about you. For the people who 50 years from now walk over my star and say, who the hell is she? Well, what do you want from me? I did the best I could. <laughs> Actually, the idea of being remembered, I guess, is what this star is all about. Although it's only a reflection of the thing that matters, which is our work. That's what we truly hope outlasts us. Everything we put on film, I think, is our way of saying we were here, that we played some part. It's our hedge against time and fading memory. And now, until it is jackhammered out, I am, have this thing in concrete, and I am, I am grateful for that. But while I'm here, the truth is, everything that I love and that truly matters to me is sitting in this box over here. My family, both gifted to me and chosen. My work family, who play with me on set. And my work family, who make being on set possible. My parents, who are love personified. My kids, who make me laugh and make me proud. My ladies, who make working motherhood possible. Nicole King, who somehow fits into all those categories. Steve, JG, Brian. Hollywood Chamber of Commerce, STX, Gary. Thank you all. Thank you so much. I'll never forget it. Thank you.